Yeah, MAGA on in full effect. Now, today we go get into these rappers. I'm going to prove my point that I've been telling you all this time, that those fake puppets that they put on, they never really have the money that they claim that they have. You understand? The Forbes magazine basically put them on on the masses because once you hear these people have a whole lot of money, millions and millions of dollars, even some of them with billions, of course you want to listen to what they got to say because that's how they program you to be. Only want to listen to so-called people with money. That's why they sell you these sodomites and tell you they're millionaires. And of course, all of these right here, we go show you, is the ones that got their house foreclosed on. Nine of them right Nine, here. Nine, Jules Santana. Mm -hmm. The past year has not treated the Dipset member very well. Mm -hmm. Last December, Jules was sentenced to a 27-month prison sentence. Yes, 27 months. That's for your number nine, as you could see him in the plaid shirt. And have the cross on. And what you got to understand people. They don't own these homes. That's what you need to get. 100%. They're just puppets. After he turned himself in for accidentally leaving an unlicensed firearm in his luggage. Yes, at a new of course that's a psyop on the masses. The airport. Mm -hmm. Currently incarcerated at a medium security prison in Virginia. Yes, he received the news that his half a million dollar condo was going to get foreclosed. Purchased mm -hmm. in 2005, Wells Fargo recently started procedure to foreclose on the 2300 square foot condo. Of After course it's 23. Of course all coded. And I told you people, this is why they have the rappers out here. Basically with this video right here, putting it out there, show you that they lose their home real fast. It's because these are the ones who basically floss on you the most. Yes, show off on you. You understand? Tell you how much millions they have, how much cars they got, how much they throw money away. Those are the ones who give you make it rain in the strip club. You get it? They push that on the masses and it's not by accident. The elite have them pushing that on the people. Throw away your money to strippers. Party, throw away your money in liquor. That's how they do it. This Jewel Santana is one of them. You get it? All the way in and at the same time promoting gang banging with bloods right there in all red and a red kerchief on the head. You better wake your ass up and later on they tell you that they're broke. Rapper had failed to pay his $3,000 mortgage for over a year. You hear that? $3,000 people. This one right here flossing millions and dollars they're pushing so they have and you can't pay your three hundred. $3,000 a month note, <laughs> house note, for over a year, I'll call it. This was a blessing in disguise, though, mm -hmm. as the condo had dropped almost 50% in value to around $300,000. Yeah, you hear that? That's another coding again, but yes, it's drop. You buy it for a certain amount of money. What I don't tell you about the housing is that's how they do it, people. It's nothing but trickery for the dumb masses. And I told you, the rappers is puppets. They only force them on the masses. Let them appear. Like they have money. This year, who wants to be paying a mortgage on that? Watching all pain. Number eight, the game. The game is a rap. Even this sodomite right here, you could have never believed this one right here. Gonna go broke and lose his home, so called. This is a fucking sodomite right there with the LA, which is a square on compass in plain sight, right there on the face. First, he got a butterfly to show you that he mind control all the way to the T, and then everybody say, Yo, oh, you're a gangster, you're a sugar tail. You go get the L.A. stamp over it. That's a definition of a punk. And there go the star right there. <laughs> At the back of the head. What do you think, people? All coded BP. Yes, and holding the hat Freemasonry. We're known for his expensive taste. Mm -hmm. And he boasts expensive taste. Yes, there you go, people. This is what I don't tell you. I break it down all the time and show you what the rappers push on the masses. They basically want to live this lifestyle. E2. Promoting bloods, gang banging, and I told you they're soft as baby shit. They never commit no crime. They just sodomize, post up on the people. All these cars, Bentleys and everything, Ferraris. Yes, and they repo your home. Yes, that's how it is, people. This is bullshit. They never have no money to begin with. Collection of exotic cars to go with his $2.7 million Calabasas. 2.7 is a number nine again. All orange chair. Mansion. Purchased in 2013 for $1.5 million. Mm -hmm. The home. 1.5. What that is? Number six. All orange couch. Freemasonry. It's 4,000 square feet, mm -hmm. four bedrooms and five baths, a sauna, pool, a private tennis court, mm -hmm. and every mm -hmm. other amenity you could mm -hmm. think of. And of course, he is a so called gangster, people. So called gangster, blood in the blood gang, so called, pushing that shit on the masses. And you have a tennis court at your house? <laughs> wow, a tennis court. 
Wow, there you go. Last year, the home was suddenly listed as a pre foreclosure, mm -hmm. and word quickly got out. There you go, people. <laughs> he promoting gang banging on the masses, the game. You believe that he bad? <laughs> Wow. The mm -hmm. game was having difficulty financing people. the home and its five thousand mm -hmm. dollar mortgage. Mm -hmm. Five thousand dollar mortgage. Mm -hmm. and that he still owed money to Forty Glock for a prior lawsuit. Mm -hmm. Result. Forty Glock people, another sodomite on the masses. They tell you suing him for beat him up. It's nothing but trash they bring to the masses. That was a way to put on the game as a gangster. That's why they did it. 100%. In a lien being placed on the home. Mm -hmm. After trying to get 40 Glock to settle for $170,000, 40 Glock took personal offense six, six, six. and the beef was on. 40 Glock would ultimately mm -hmm. take the game to this game right here, people. Look like he on some kind of juice, like he on ride. This is nothing but a sodomite. We're in the death row chain. Wow. Dumb court. On. Not for the first time, mind you. Mm -hmm. In order to get his money still owed. The house was finally foreclosed on after the court proceedings. As for the game, it looks like his cars need to find a new garage. Mm -hmm. Just in case you're dumb, those are not his either. Just wake your ass up, it's just a punk. Mm -hmm. Number seven, Lil' Kim. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Lil' Kim has had it rough as of late. Mm -hmm. The queen Very rough is just a man in a drag they call Lil' Kim. Be of rap herself. And of course, all of them is fake. Look at the fake face on this Lil' Kim right here. You never get it. Make up like Bando. But you can't get rid of that brow ridge. You're, you're kidding me? And have the same Michael Jackson nose? Dumb on. She's been struggling to pay back mm -hmm. debts to several creditors. Mm -hmm. And she applied for yes. Chapter 13 bankruptcy in early... Mm -hmm. Chapter 13. Mm -hmm. 18. When she missed a payment on her $2.3 million New Jersey mm -hmm. home... 2.3. There you go again. 2.3. Freemasonry. And of course, $2.3 million home in New Jersey. Miss what? One payment? It's nothing but bullshit. 100% Back thing. debts to several creditors. Mm -hmm. And she applied for Chapter 13 bankruptcy in early 2018. Mm -hmm. When she missed a payment on her $2.3 million New Jersey home, mm -hmm. her creditor took it to court. But she just narrowly avoided her home being foreclosed mm -hmm. on when the judge sided with her. The judge mm -hmm. warned that Kim would have to dedicate herself to getting her mm -hmm. debt straightened out. Mm -hmm. You see that us right here? Take a look. It's three sixes, the mark of the beast. 100% When she missed another payment, her creditors foreclosed on the mansion and auctioned it off. It also came to light that Lil' Kim owed over $4 million mm -hmm. in various debts, $1.8 of which were in back taxes alone. Mm -hmm. It ain't easy being Queen B. Mm -hmm. And of course, the easy way they're gonna tell you they get them is so so-called tax. Their back pay tax. Gonna get them all the time. That's what they give the man. Number six, Comillionaire. In a rare case of preemptive foreclosure, Chameleonaire actually you hear what he call himself? Chameleonaire people. Wow. This is both gave his swanky two point three million dollar mansion back to the point three again, another two three bank in twenty ten. Mm -hmm. The sprawling mm -hmm. mansion, located in the Woodlands neighborhood outside mm -hmm. of Houston, mm -hmm. measured at nearly eight thousand square feet, mm -hmm. but Con Millionaire insisted that it was not worth his investment. He was, it was not worth your investment, but why did you invest in there in the first place? That makes sense? Were there with a busy touring schedule with UFO photos that you got at the damn house. And when the housing market tanked in 2008, he no longer saw the value in keeping the property, so he returned it to the bank, who then turned around and sold it for around 1.8 bank owned it to begin with. That's what you need to know. He never owned it million dollars. Mm -hmm. While it seems like a rough spot, Chameleonaire actually got off a lot better than other rappers on this list. Mm -hmm. He was able to relocate to another mansion, which cost him a fraction of what the Carlton oh, Woods home cost. Mm -hmm. Then again, maybe he's just saying that to save face. Mm -hmm. In any case, the Right and Dirty Star was able to shave some overhead costs as he continues to bring in cash. Mm -hmm. It seems pretty sad. Bullshit people, as you could see him right there. What's that? Orange on the head? Are we also promoting blood? To me. Mm -hmm. Number five, Easy E. Mm -hmm. It might not be fair. Now, this one right here is a big old devil puppet that they put on on the masses. I'm going to do a video on this one, break him down to show you with your so called Easy E from Compton. It's nothing but another faker they bring to the say that he and of course, he looked like a transgender to me. Dumb on. D.E. had this mansion foreclosed on. Considering he'd been dead for almost 16 there years. There you go, with the sex on the hat for your socks. Of course, on the plaid shirt. By the time it mm -hmm. happened. When Easy died of AIDS in 1995, mm -hmm. he passed on his... AIDS? Just another way to push the AIDS epidemic on the masses. He's just a faker. Connick Calabasas mansion to his wife, Tomika Wright. Mm -hmm. Listen. Wow, hold on. Don't move that motherfucker so fast. His wife, Tomika Bam. Wright. Bam! Take a look at this one right here. Tanika, with the damn orange Home Depot behind you. 
Look like a man with that big neck. Bam the 6,700 square foot mansion was the popular party spot for Easy E and his crew, and they became famous for throwing all night parties in excess. The house it never belongs to them people. It's government homes. That's what you need to know. And later on, after they tell you Easy E used to own it, they used to keep a lot of lavish party there. Then after that, they bump up the price and sell the masses. For a whole lot of money that the house don't even value. Actually even included a black room with fluorescent pillows dubbed Easy's Playhouse. Tomica fell behind on the mortgage payments sometime around 2011, owing nearly $200,000 on the home. Unable to make good on the payments, the legendary mansion of the NWA star was foreclosed and auctioned off for $2.2 million. There you go. Number four, DMX. Wherever there is a list about losing tons... go with your DMX, and of course he's one of them people. All the way in, as you can see him right here on Dr. Phil preaching in his plaid shirt. Just a sire papa right on the message with a DMX fucking dumb. Money to property? Future. DMX is there. The Rough Rider has never been able to shake his financial difficulties for long. Uh, and I, let's, while DMX running, let ask this question right here. If you is a, a multi-millionaire, you have so-called a hundred million dollars, you're going to buy a house for 2.3 million which all of them so-called be paying. Why you can't take a money out your hundred million and purchase the home cash? Hmm? None of these people that they tell you is rich is not. That's what you need to know. Why you can't take two million out of a hundred million and purchase a home that belong to you where you're just going to end up just pay tax on and maintaining the house. You understand that? Get the fuck out of here, it's dumb. The string of property ventures that mm -hmm. ended in disaster, going mm -hmm. all the way back to the 2000s. Mm -hmm. He bought a 3,600 square foot home. Damn, 36 for your three sixes, the mark of the beast, and I told you, they're fakers. All of them is liars on the In people. Westchester County, New York, mm -hmm. at the height of his fame and popularity, but struggled to keep it afloat. He successfully yeah. fended it off from... Oh, you struggled to keep it afloat. You still owe the bank money on that home? And you're worth way more than that. Why you can't buy the damn home? Closure twice, most recently in 2014, by paying back over $200,000 in loans. Mm -hmm. But the victory was not short-lived. Mm -hmm. DMX would declare bankruptcy in 2016. Wow. And just in case you're dumb, people, all those entertainers and movie stars, those are the ones that so-called file bankruptcy the most. Why is that? The richest set of people that so-called on this earth? Get out of here. And listed the home as one of his assets. Mm -hmm. He was over $2 million in debt and would plead guilty wow. to... $2 million in debt. So all the fuck, you have a, a number one album. All of DMX albums so-called debut at number one, people. Are you kidding me? Come on. I mean, $1.7 million in taxes in 2017. Mm -hmm. This yes, isn't... All of them old tax. Mm -hmm. The only time the DMX has had troubles with homes, mm -hmm. he purchased a Harlem townhouse in 2001. Mm -hmm. While attempting to renovate the building, several issues began to surface, mm -hmm. and the townhouse quickly turned into a money pit. By the time money pit, a townhouse, a rich person like DMX in the orange couch right there, buying a little townhouse, people. How much you think for a little townhouse? Wow, and he, he, he turned into a money pit. It's bullshit, people. They're poorer than regular people. If you don't want to be real, you can go ahead and deny the truth. But these people right here, they let them live lavish. But at the end of the day, they got nothing. 100%. X put it on the market in 2006. Mm -hmm. No one was buying it. Mm -hmm. And the partially completed building was sold at auction for just $120,000. Mm -hmm. You hear that? $120,000 for your number three. But that's it. <laughs> wow, you can't pay for that? $120,000 DMX? Wow. This is a joke. Considering he initially bought the residence for $750,000. Wow, he bought it for seven hundred and fifty, dollars which lead you back to your same number three. You understand? He's going to give you a 12, 7 and 5, and that will give you a number three again. One That's a two. pretty bad return. Mm -hmm. Number three, Nas. Mm -hmm. Hip-hop legend Nas has seen mm -hmm. his fair Look share. Look at Nas. They're always selling you this NSC. He's a part of it, people. He's selling you that hardcore liquor to kill off the fucking people. Have you tied up with the laws, paying lawyer bill and paying court fee? If you're getting in trouble with this liquor right here, drink and drive or even drink and wreck kill somebody. And I told you, these sodomite push it all day with the C in the head right there. And of course, it's a financial sodomite. woes too. Despite mm -hmm. consistently landing number one mm -hmm. on the charts whenever he releases it. Consistently landing number one. I told you the same thing with DMX 
And of course, he can never pay for shit. Album and having a reported net worth of sixty million dollars. Damn, Cody, he got a network of sixty million people. Sixty million dollars. Wow, and you get foreclosure in a house that worth less than five mil. Get out of struggled here. to keep his financial situation afloat. Here. He lost his Georgia home in 2012 to foreclosure after he defaulted on loans he took out to pay for it. Wow. The two Why you have to take out loans to pay for the home and you have $60 million? That don't make no sense. Bedroom three bathroom home was publicly auctioned. Faulted on loans he took out to pay for it. The two bedroom three bathroom home was pub. Two bedroom people, two bedroom and three bath. You got more bathroom than bedroom. It's just dumb shit, people. 100% and you can't pay your Nas. Wow, this is dumb shit right here. You can't pay for a, a, a fucking two bedroom home. The auction for around three hundred forty-eight thousand dollars after defaulting on the loans. Wow. But the foreclosure was just wow. the tip of the ice. Wow. Work <laughs> for Nas. The IRS would go on to garnish his wages due to the fact that he owed over six million dollars in delinquent tax. Bam again, six million. Another cord. He owed in the wrinkling tax people, He's not paying his tax. Are you kidding me? Wow. Let this be a lesson. If there's one group you shouldn't mess with, it's the IRS. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course, you're going to mention the IRS. Look what they represent them people. The eagle and the flowers. What is the eagle and the holy scale in the mouth? You always see these and you don't pay attention, but it's the eagle, the Freemasonry people. They're the one who control the IRS. It's them. 100% and like they said they never pay tax they just take tax that's what they do right there wake your ass they always up. get their money back it's worth mm -hmm. noting that he took care of his tax bill mm -hmm. and has made a lot of smart money moves since then mm -hmm. most notably right. Nas made an investment in mm -hmm. doorbell company ring which was late the fuck out of here about he make an investment in the door doorbell company ring the doorbell is ring is a bullshit for the dumb masses it's a government shit then they go tell you amazon bought it you better wake your ass up. It's Amazon. Come out with it. And I already told you who on Amazon. It's a government shit. Required by Amazon for more than one Get billion dollars. Bullshit. That's Number two, totally T Pain. In what is probably this is a fucking dummy. Just like the music that he do is just trash. You get it? No doubt about it. As you could see him with all M's on him for Freemasonry. This one right here give you the auto tune. I don't know how he pass off as a hardest. This is dumb shit right The here. lamest way to lose a house. The autotune star simply blew off a lawsuit mm -hmm. filed against him by his bank, mm -hmm. resulting in a default mm -hmm. ruling by a judge. And by the way, they tell you that this one worth over $150 million. And listen to this right here. Payne allegedly took out $85,000 in a loan to purchase a modest home in Palm Beach County, Florida. $85,000? let us go back. T-Pain allegedly took out $85,000 <laughs> in a loan to purchase a modest home. $85,000, people. The rich, the billionaire, the millionaire people. The T Pain is a millionaire people. Are you kidding me? You're not getting it. And he buying a home for eighty five thousand and he take out a loan. I'm done, man. In Palm Beach County, Florida. Wow. His bank alleged in that Palm he Beach, as you could see him in all orange right there for Freemasonry. At sea right there. Of course. Called it Freemasonry. Stop making mortgage payments in 2016 mm. and the initial loan was given in 2006 wow. when the bank served t-pain papers wow. taking him to court he simply didn't show up and mm. in his absence the judge sided with the bank mm. the ruling brought t-pain he never owned a home people you <laughs> know own shit that's what you need to know just a devil puppet and of course he's gonna be right there high and dry his total owed up to one hundred and seventeen thousand mm -hmm. dollars eighty three thousand wow. of that from the initial loan wow. plus interest and legal fees that's wow. a pretty hefty bill to rack wow. up just as you could see him with the upside down pyramid right there in the head with the six swirls you see him wake up mm -hmm. for missing court number one birdman mm -hmm. birdman's awesome take um can you believe this fucking birdman Wow, can you believe he got his house foreclosure? The the one that actually brag on the people the most. Take a look at this right here. Cross in the forehead. Star right here. Big old Baphomet star at the side. Big old Baphomet star in the top peeping out there. Are you kidding me, people? This is a devil puppet in plain sight, playing gatekeeper and the music business. This display of wealth are well documented, mm -hmm. as is yes, his portrait. Well documented, mm-hmm of the artists on his record label mm -hmm. from Lil Wayne to Young Thug mm -hmm. yes his treatment of his artists 
This one right here, Big Old Sodomite, also the treatment of the Wayne. artists on his record label from Lil Both Wayne. Of them. You understand? This is a devil puppet, also. <laughs> wow, you never get it, people. Don't sleep no more. You got the ribbon on him and the mob right there, even the dice, people. This one is just a dummy on the masses, and a lot of youths follow suit. Wow, with the blonde dreads. To Young Thug, wow. no artist was safe from Birdman's greed. You no know artist is safe. These are artists. You better wake your dumb ass up. It's just the gay shit they're pushing on the masses. Because baby's a sodomite. And of course, he got all of these fuckers right here running around like he little bitches. And he used this money week. to... There you go, right there. And I'm going to post back the video I got with these two sodomites right there. Bust them out. And Purchased an enormous mansion in Miami <laughs> worth $14.5 million. And having a... 14.5. <laughs> wow. Total man. area of over 19,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. Everything a mogul could want could be found behind the doors of Birdman's mm -hmm. mansion. Mm -hmm. From a private spa, two pools, and a movie theater, life can't get much more leisurely. Remember, this is a guy that's so-called almost a billionaire. And the, the home value, for, call it 15 million, and he can't pay for it. Unfortunately for Birdman, he was ordered to vacate the home in 2017, mm -hmm. five years after he purchased it. Mm -hmm. As it turns Only out, five years after he purchased it, people. Wow. He financed the mansion by taking out a loan, mm -hmm. which he then defaulted on. How would you, people, you're not getting it. It's the same guy, the same guy that tell you how much Bugatti own, Bugatti over a million dollar piece. You better wake your ass up, people. You don't own the home. Wow. Doing foreclosure lawsuit was upwards wow. of twelve million dollars, wow. but also twelve million people. The home value of fifteen, he only paid three on it already. Included an office space wow. Birdman was renting out as well. Wow. While that's certainly all these stars in his head, people. <laughs> only isn't a good look for Birdman. It is a great look for Lil Wayne's fans mm -hmm. and anybody who needs a healthy dose of Schadenfreude. It's nothing but bullshit. One hundred percent. There you go again. A number six again. All coded. They give the masses. There you go. All day of the week, people. Time for you to wake up on these so-called rappers. They're all fake. None of them is real. You believe they really got money? Of course, I don't tell you already. Fake people and the masses pushed by the Forbes. The Forbes magazine tell you how much money they have just to fool the dumb masses. You're going with that? Catch me on the run. I'm gone.